morning everybody in the last previous lecture we studied about the introduction of plant physiology kalcha lecture mate apan plant physiology se introduction bad shiklo mi tumhala kal definition sangitle the plant physiology chi the study of functions performed by the plants is called as a plant physiology वनस्पति जे जे कई वेगे फंक्शन कैरी करते परफॉर्म करते सग्या फंक्शन का स्टडी करना प्लैंड फिजोलॉजीचर मध्य बहुत शिवाय काल लेक्चर मध्य तुम्हारा ही एक्सप्लेन के विच आर द फिजोलॉजिकल प्रोसेसेस विच आर द फंक्शन दैट आर परफॉर्म बाय द प्लैंड्स को फंक्शन वनस्पति परफॉर्म करते मैं तुम्हारा इम्बाइवेशन डिफ्यूजन ऑस्मोसि ट्रांसप्रेशन असेंट ऑफ जैन सैप वॉटर एब्सॉर्शन साल्ट एब्सॉर्शन फोटोसिंथेसि रेस्पायरेशन प्लैंड ग्रोथ एंड डेवलपमेंट दीज आर द डिफरंट फंक्शन विच आर परफॉर्म बाय द प्लैंड्स एंड दीज ऑल फंक्शन आर कलेक्टिवली कॉल्ड एज फिजोलॉजिकल प्रोसेसेस एंड वी नो वेरी वेल दैट ऑल द फिजोलॉजिकल प्रोसेसेस आर इम्पॉर्टंट फॉर द सर्वाइवल ऑफ द प्लैंड्स काल हे सुधा संगित तुम्हारा मैं जर एखी फिजोलॉजिकल प्रोसेस बंद पड़ी तर वनस्पति जीवन ही नष्ट हो प्लैंड्स विल बी डाय नाउ टुडे यू आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट फिजोलॉजिकल प्रोसेस दैट इज इम्बाइवेशन इम्बाइवेशन इज द फर्स्ट फिजोलॉजिकल प्रोसेस it is not only physiological process but it is important physiological process now before going to study of this physiological process it is necessary to know that what is imbibition second one is the mechanism of imbibition third one is importance of imbibition in this physiological process we study the what is imbibition how the imbibition is takes place and what is the importance means what is the significance of imbibition now the first question is that what is imbibition we know very well that imbibition is a important physiological process now this physiological process is available for the plants for the absorption of water what i said this is the important physiological process this physiological process is available for the plants for the absorption of water now but actually what is imbibition and how the imbibition is takes place if the seeds are placed in water see these are the seeds and these seeds are placed in water what will be happen after some time these seeds are become swells what are they coming the seeds swells with their size it becomes increases why because the seeds absorb the water and hence seeds are become swells ata he the seeds said the seeds thoda vale water absorption kar and if seeds in a water absorption kelo we know the result that the seeds are become swells their size is becomes increases if we place the stones in the water sada paanya mathe khane takle ta ka hoi tancha akar vadel ka nahi vadta the size of stones is not increases they are not swells but seeds are swells why 
If the seeds are placed in water, they are become swells, their size becomes increases. Why? Means in the seeds, there are some factors that absorb the water. That is called as imbibition. The seeds absorb the water. Why seeds absorb the water? Because in the seeds, there are hydrophilic colloids are present. In the seeds, there are hydrophilic colloids are present. And these hydrophilic colloids absorb the water. And hence, the seeds are become swells, their size is becomes increases. And hence, the simple definition of imbibition is that absorption of water by dry hydrophilic colloids is called imbibition. The absorption of water by dry hydrophilic colloids is called as imbibition. Now the question is that which are the hydrophilic colloids? Which type of hydrophilic colloids are present in the seeds and they absorb the water? In the seeds, there are hydrophilic colloids are present like like cellulose, protein, starch, pectin, chitin, etc. These are the hydrophilic colloids and these hydrophilic colloids absorb the water. Now the question is that Hydro and philic. These are the two words. Hydro means water. And philic means attraction. Philic means attraction. The substance which have great attraction of water is called as a hydrophilic colloids. Ja substance na panapital akarshmasta. Tenamata hydrophilic colloids. And these hydrophilic colloids are present in the seeds. Cellulose. Protein, starch, pectin, and chitin. These are the hydrophilic colloids. And because of that presence of these hydrophilic colloids, the seeds absorb the water. Baga, Mitrano, Heje, Hesakwe, hydrophilic colloids, and a hydrophilic colloid catch up the seeds with the asta. With one singular, hydro with the water and philic with the attraction. Heje substance is it. Heje substance of anamata accretion. These are also called as a water loving substances. And hence, these absorb the water and seeds are become swells. Munun seeds swells so that Khadeza Takle Panamade, Khadan Made, Kyo the Gran Made, the hydrophilic colloids must have Munun Telsakar Badatnai. They swells hot nani. Munun upon definition category, the absorption of water by dry hydrophilic colloids is called as a imbibition. Mata Hedana Saga, imbibition. Now, I am giving some examples of imbibition in our daily life. Apla dolo tte da inan dinye bade. Imbibition chay udharan. Apla gari ayi usra bano te. Kaya karate usra bano te tar. Adda jushi mat ke wamo vizo te. Baro bare vizo la nantar tela ratri kapra madhe bhandan utho te. Tumhi sakai utha. Sakai utha nantar tumcha observation ka asta. बरोबर काय असतो तुमचा ऑब्झर्वेशन सीड्स आर बिकम स्वेल्स सीड्स स्वेल्स झाले असतात तुम्ही ते पुरचून ते उघडले तर तुम्ही त्याला स्पर्श केला तर तुम्हाला उष्णता जाणवते बरोबर आहे नंतर तुम्ही बघतात की जे रात्री मोड आणण्यासाठी जे धान्य ओलं करून गुंडाळून ठेवलं होतं ते काय झाले स्वेल्स झाले त्याचं जे सीड कोट असतं दॅट सीड कोट इज बिकम ब्रेक सीड कोट ब्रेक झालेलं असतं सीड कोट म्हणजे सीड्सच्या बाहेर असलेलं बाहेरचं आवरण बरोबर आहे